What's up? What's up? I'm back, baby. The silence is broken. I hate even saying that. There, like, I haven't been silent on purpose or or disappeared or anything like that. Like, I appreciate. I appreciate that some of you care and some of you sent me messages being like, "Where are you? Where are you at? Where you been?" Appreciate that. I really do, especially because some of you are absolute complete strangers. Um, so the fact that you even care what I have to say is it's flattering i guess but nothing has changed nothing nothing has changed from day one i still got the fucking plastic watch the same fucking plastic watch from day one i still don't give a shit about subs and views which is clearly evident which is why i haven't posted a video in what's been like a month and a half two months now and it's why i've been one of the few that has been true to what i've actually said from day one i don't care about subs i don't care about views this channel this little fucking piece of shit we are the apes we are the apes <laughs> fucking channel has been eligible for monetize monetization for I think a month and a half since basically when I stopped posting videos, which was like a month or whatever. I don't know. Someone will, someone will fact check me, I'm sure. And they'll post down in the comments. Do your thing. Do your fucking keyboard warrior thing. You do you, boo. I don't give a shit. Um, but anyways, this channel's been eligible for monetization for however long, at least a month. And I still haven't turned it on because I don't give a fuck. I, I, I've i said that from day one. I don't care about views. I don't care about subs. And if I cared so much, like if Teddy was right that I was just this broke, broke ass person in this shitty truck, which I do have a shitty truck, but it's not because I'm broke. It's because I choose to have this shitty ass truck because I choose to put my money in other things. But if I truly cared about about the money don't you think i would have turned on monetization and collected that 58 dollars a month because i'd so desperately needed anyways we're rambling right now but my point is nothing has changed in that regard never cared about the views never cared about the subs never cared about monetization but as far as the stock because there have been people messaging me and again the fact that people even care what i think or what i have to say it's flattering but you shouldn't you shouldn't i'm just a guy i don't have a fucking mba i'm not a licensed stockbroker i'm just a guy who's been investing with his own money like a diy investor for the last i don't know 20 years 20 plus years got sick and tired of stockbrokers and financial planners just you know just skimming and skimming and skimming with management expense expense ratios and assets under management all these bullshit fees that i just said fuck it you know what i can i can take this on myself i know enough about the economy i know enough about the stock market i i've cut my teeth i've learned some hard lessons i'm gonna take this on myself so again the fact that anybody cares it's cool it's flattering but don't don't care. And I've said that from day one too. Don't care what I have to say. I'm just a guy. And especially don't care what any of these fucking YouTubers have to say because you don't know their hidden agenda. A lot of the advice that they give you, there's a hidden agenda attached to it. And we're starting to see that, right? With with the stock price getting a little bit hammered right now and coming off that 38-ish, 39-ish dollar high a little while ago. Everybody was all, you know, up in arms again. And then now that we're down to fucking almost, you know, 12, 11, almost $10 again, people are like, the true colors are being shown as some YouTubers have pointed out, which I love by the way, because I have also been true to that. I've distanced myself because that's what's, that's something I said weeks and months, not months and months, but like weeks and a month and a month and a half ago, I've said that I'm distance, distancing myself from this community because it is so toxic um, and you have some of these fools some of these motherfuckers in this community that their true colors are starting to be shown and it, it's even it's mind-boggling to me that some of these youtubers had to expose these people and the community didn't already see it like i don't know I don't, I don't I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to go there because I don't want to say anybody's dumb but like how how have people not seen these people for what they are like some of these people are fucking absolute pieces of shit and their hidden agenda is so fucking obvious I'm not gonna mention names because I'm not into I'm I don't care anymore I'm so over it I don't care about drama and names and starting beef um four views which I know I said I didn't care about views but yeah I you know, I did have a little bit of an agenda when I started this channel. Basically, I'll, I'll just come clean right now, is um, in my real life, I do some marketing. And I wanted to see how quickly I could get this channel to eligible monetization. Eligible for monetization. I never turned it on, but I just wanted to see how quickly I could turn it on. And then kind of use it as a case study for some of my clients and some of the people that I consult with for the power of YouTube and the power of finding an audience and properly optimizing your videos with titles and
descriptions and tags and just all that kind of keyword research, all that kind of stuff. So that's really been my only hidden agenda with, with the channel was just to see how quickly I could gain an audience and how quickly I could get a channel to monetization eligibility, but not actually turn it on because I don't care. I like, I literally don't care if the channel fucking dies and goes to zero. I don't care if I end up with zero subs and zero views. This channel means... Uh, let me back up. You people mean something to me. Don't get me wrong, because I've met some really cool people along the way. But what happens to this channel doesn't mean anything to me. I don't care if the channel dies. Some of the connections and friendships, even friendships that I've made along the way, that means something to me. And that's, that's like from the bottom of my heart. That actually is the truth. Um, but as far as what happens to this channel, I don't care about that. So where am I at with the stock? Let's get into the stock because I've been getting that as well. I mean, same thing. Like like I've said with this channel and my intention with the channel, nothing's changed. It's the same thing with the stock. Nothing has changed. The shorts haven't covered. The short interest is still stupid high. And seeing the stock drop to the levels it's dropping to right now, I still don't give a shit because A, it gives me more options to add to my position. B, it might get the shorts to maybe get kind of like lured into finally covering their positions because maybe the bottom in their eyes is coming out. And C... From a fundamental value now, this stock is very attractive or getting, I shouldn't say very attractive, but getting attractive because now it's kind of at its intrinsic value, its fundamental value, which is going to attract other interest into the stock, which could possibly trigger a gamma squeeze and calls and options, all that kind of stuff. And even a, you know, like I said, a gamma squeeze and then potentially causing finally, finally the short squeeze of all things. So to me, the stock price right now doesn't mean absolute shit other than it just makes me more bullish, more bullish because of the reasons I mentioned before is I can buy more shares. I can add to my position if I choose to. I still have a very large position that I haven't sold a single share of. And that's for the record right now. I want to state I have not sold a single fucking share, not a single one. Even when it ripped to $38 or $39 a couple of weeks ago, not a single share. I'm in this, like I said, nothing has changed from day one. I'm in this until we go to the fucking goddamn moon or goes to zero. I don't give a shit. The amount that I have invested in this stock is not going to make or break my financial position or my family's position. Um, I'm in this until it goes to the moon or zero. If it goes to zero, so be it, which it's not. I don't think at all it's going to zero because fundamentally there's revenue again. We're seeing ticket sales. Like there's the pandemic's over. Like fuck, you know, speaking of cancel culture, we'll fucking cancel the pandemic. That's over. That's canceled too, as well as everything else in this world. If you want my thoughts on that, but I don't see the stock going to zero anymore. There's, there's traction again. There's positivity again. So I don't see that being a problem. And yeah, that's where I'm at. That's where, that is where I am at with things. So I guess call this me breaking my silence for whatever, whatever you want to call it. But here I am. I don't, don't, don't expect to see me much more because, uh, the shit show that is going on. Um, I've checked in on a few videos. Like I'm still subbed to a few videos and it's the same. It's the same bullshit. It's the same drama. He said, she said, this person said that. And yes, I'm suing and I'm suing like, some of you are fucking absolute losers. You're absolute nobodies and fucking losers. All of this drama, all this bullshit. You think you're somebody because you gained a little bit of an audience on YouTube, but you're actually a fucking nobody. You just haven't realized it yet. That's all I got. Peace. Peace. I got to do two fingers. Peace. <laughs> all right.